Okay, guys, welcome back. So again, as I said, we're going to do something a little bit different today. And we wanted to get into a little bit more tech talk behind the beauty industry, which is why we have our special guest here today. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to tell you guys a little bit about Travis, who I absolutely admire. Okay, he yeah. is, he's a hustler. He's a, he's a hustler. <laughs> yeah. he, he is, really. Um, he actually is the creator and the author of this book here. He is a good guru in the beauty industry and guys this man was propositioned to be interviewed by oprah why because <laughs> yes. he developed the kinky twist yes, yes. this is a legend yes. this is a legend right here thank so you, you. he also developed many other things in the industry he did not develop bentonite clay but he came up with this special what's it called um <laughs> Second nature. <laughs> Second nature bentonite clay, which you guys know that we did address in a episode prior to this. Now we had Nicole kind of off camera giving us a little bit of information about it. And Joy, she saw the episode, but she never got a hands-on experience with the product. So we have Travis here to give us more detail about bentonite clay and flower powder and why it is so important. Yes. So I saw this on your last episode, and I just gotta know, what is bentonite? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start it off because, you know, I did the rundown mm -hmm. of bentonite clay mask in the previous episode, and everyone loves this mask. This number one, this is like probably the most famous mask that's out right it's, now. Everyone wow. has heard of the Aztec clay mask, but um, a lot of people think it comes from this mysterious foreign Egyptian yeah. place. <laughs> And it's Sound honestly like it. not. It's from the United States. You can get it in Colorado, correct? Uh, Montana, oh, you know, wow. Death Valley. Right, okay. okay. It, it's easily obtainable. It's, it's not this foreign object that is just poofed here. <laughs> um, so with that, um, it's a deep pore cleansing face mask. Mm -hmm. And we have negative electrons in our face. Okay. So with the mask, it's positive electrons in there. And when it combines, when it touches our face. It's removing those negative electrons from our face. Yeah. You know, it's like when, you know, magnets, when the, yeah, yeah. the positive and negative, they actually attract each other. Yeah. Right. So actually it pulls the, the you know, the, uh, the, the dirt or anything that you want to remove from your face yeah. actually extracts it out. Wow. Those impurities that you're trying to get rid yeah. of, that's, ugh, that's, hard to get rid of yeah, yeah. yeah. you feel it for, like <laughs> pulling firming you feel it as soon as you put it on it, yeah. it firms your face and you can kind of feel that action happening which is amazing okay. yeah um, and, and, it, and also adds moisture back to your face too so that's part skin. of the healing process from what i'm understanding because this is an all-natural healing clay yeah. is that actually, what yeah actually you know, like mm -hmm. most healing. beneficial like immediate beneficial uh, thing that you will see you know, other than just purify, you know, like cleansing your skin, mm -hmm. but it is acne. Like people who are suffering from yes. the acne, yes. mm -hmm. they will definitely benefit from this. Like, and then you will see it. Yeah. I think the mainly because, you know, when, you know, our body, entire body, when you mm -hmm. think about it, it's all nothing but electronic, electron activities, oh, like yeah. positives and negatives. Mm -hmm. That's how our you know, heart, hearts beat, right? Mm -hmm. And um, whenever we try to neutralize this, if there's a little bit too much of positive or if there's too much of a negative or whatever case, mm -hmm. case may be, then we sort of like loses the balance. Okay. But the, uh, when, whenever we neutralize, whenever we neutralize either in pH level or in, you know level of electrons or whichever case may be, mm -hmm. whenever we neutralize anything or our, any part of our body, that it becomes normal, mm -hmm. and then our you know our body knows how to heal itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I think that's the main reason why that mm -hmm. you see the benefit immediately for the people who's suffering the ac acne. Yes, yes. I mm -hmm. think that's uh, that's one of the ways to explain this. Mm -hmm. The bentonite clay itself is not just the one solution, but there, there is like with this idea that you know there are other ideas that you can actually derive from this. Mm -hmm. It's really, you know, hard to convince the consumers with the right product yeah. because consumer likes to actually take on their own mm -hmm. trend mm -hmm. or whatever case may be. But the the whole, you know, if you understand the basic ideas that it uh, it's all about electrons, yeah. manipulating yeah. electrons, then you will you will be able to understand the next item, such as like flower powder, which mm -hmm. I think is gentler it than than clay. Oh, and okay. and and, uh, and you'll see um, 
longer or more or yeah. better uh, result. Well, that yeah. actually uh, brings me to a question. I typically use bentonite clay after a long weekend of turning up okay. and wearing makeup <laughs> the yeah. whole weekend. And I realize it definitely pulls out the impurities, but it's very intense on my face. So mm -hmm. how frequently can you use oh, bentonite okay. clay? Bentonite clay, you know, I would use probably weekly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you know, I wouldn't use every day. Yeah. <laughs> this okay. would be a little bit too much. It should not be a cleanser. Right. Okay. It's okay. a mask. Because yeah. okay. it's a mask. But so. the right. flower powder, you can actually use maybe every three days or so. Okay. And, you know, the, you know, it's so gentle that you can actually use as much as you like. Now, okay. with the flower powder, is it the same as, like, putting positive onto your negative? Bentonite is, I saw some bentonite clay in liquid form, like, you know, in the tube mm -hmm. at the store. <laughs> but that's not good for you, right? It's not no. because it doesn't yeah. make any sense because, okay. you know, it only activates, the, the, the particle, you know, electron charge only activates when this touch the water or liquid, yeah. right? Mm. So it's already, like, right. diluted. Exactly. And then, right. you know, if wow. you already activate the charge and yeah. then by the time it arrives your your room yeah. or home, Mm -hmm. There's no more charge it's left. Deactivated. And that means that it can't be like all natural. They no. had to put something in there to make the process right. stay the way it is. Right. It's a, like it's a complete difference to me than the bentonite clay. Yeah, I love really. the flower powder okay. better. It's yeah. way more brightening. Okay. When we did a test next to each other, the, the two products next to it, the flower powder to me was amazing. It was more brightening. It was more of a difference. My skin felt more moisturized. Oh, wow. Yeah. I actually would prefer, which Travis is, you know, c concocting, <laughs> the com combination of yeah. both. Oh, wow. the, yeah. clay, the clay mask and the flower powder. So you okay. get that smell and that moisture and then that deep Floor cleansing. It definitely like, yeah. feels more luxurious. Exactly. Using, oh, okay. Like, you know, the flower powder. Exactly. Like, oh, like relaxing using Kisha my Kisha 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 Yeah, using my flower using powder. Midnight <laughs> Clay is like, don't call me right now. I got my wrap on. I'm getting to the nitty gritty. Like, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. barely talking. Yeah. So far. <laughs> Just talk like this. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It's those secret place yeah. moments. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Midnight Clay. Yeah. And I, for me personally, I would probably start trying to use the bentonite clay because I work out so much mm -hmm. and I know I'm sweating all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I have to find something to, you know, deal with that acne that you talk about because yeah. I'm like, I'm at a certain age and I still have acne. Okay, right. so I have to find something that works. And if this will do that, I definitely would like to it start it trying works. it Absolutely. myself. You know, like, you know, have you seen, have you seen a really like a microscopic uh, view of your skin? I don't like think I would want to. <laughs> 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 I don't think I would. <laughs> you know, in my office, I have, um, you know, I have a microscopic, uh, the camera, right, digital camera that I can oh, actually wow. see, oh, very up close view, like 500 times magnified oh, magnif oh, the view. Humbling. <laughs> we can actually see your pore area and, you know, like, wow. the, the things that you don't want to see, right? No. <laughs> right? And, uh, I'm you'd willing be to try if you make me. But <laughs> you'd be amazed. Wow. You'd be amazed how complex our skin is. Yeah. Wow. And um, how much of the impurities actually we apply on our skin? Can yeah. you imagine? Yeah. The fine powder products or any you know like yeah. any, you know foundation or and coloring products. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just put it on your skin. And then sometimes we don't always take it off our skin uh, at night like we should. Right. So yeah, mm -hmm. I could definitely. And say. then they talk about nanotechnology. Have you yeah. heard about nanotechnology, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The nanotechnology is nothing but like miniaturizing, make the particle as small as possible. Yeah in the nano size yes what you know what what happens if it is nano size it will just penetrate right into oh, your skin mm -hmm. wow. it will just soak right in yeah and then it will just penetrate in so deep but then again how are you going to actually remove it yeah you know think about it, right? <laughs> yeah, there you go the, you know, if, if the particle is like nano size yeah and then the water molecule is bigger than the nano size of yeah. the particle how is water going to actually remove or our, you know, how is our soap will remove this uh, yeah. this impurities, right? Yeah. So now we have to really be creative. How are we going to get rid of it? As mm -hmm. much as we love to put it on. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. So how you know how are we go you know, are we going to get rid of it? Well, Joy, you, I think you should smell the flower powder. The flower powder. Yes. Oh. It's okay. Yeah. My not personal experience favorite. Oh, okay. okay. You know, actually, it, this is my favorite. Yeah. Really. Oh wow. It, it smells so 
good. And it, it smells it's so like it's you, soft. Yes. You know what I mean? It's it's definitely reminds me of a rose in that, exactly. that fragrance scent. Yeah. And it's not too overpowering. Exactly. Really. So how do you actually develop flower powder? Are you just like beating down flowers? Like how exactly does that, <laughs> does that work? Right. Uh, you, you just just be your own way. Beating down flowers. 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 Beating down <laughs> Actually, I didn't. I didn't develop this, or I didn't invent this. Oh, this okay. has been, this has been in use for like more than thirty or forty years. Wow. As, as long as, as far as I know, it's like it, people in back in the nineteen fifties mm -hmm. they've been using this. Okay. It was it was really popular. Um, actually, it was the starting of the skin purifying mm -hmm. product. Wow. And then from this, now they you know the companies actually liquefy it mm -hmm. and then make mm -hmm. it into more like friendly or easier solutions to use and to commercialize mm -hmm. okay. uh, but this is like fundamental this is fundamental so it was it has been there all these years you know people are using it for hair nowadays yeah, yeah. yeah. i think that's oh. more important you've never used it in your hair no i've used it yeah it mm -hmm. defines your curls it yeah. does. oh your yeah. curls would be Mm -hmm. oh. Way more different than I right. wish I yeah. would have mentioned that earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's, that's the no biggest idea. benefit right now. You know, like, you didn't ask me a question about, like, which brand should I, should I choose? I mean, there are some uh, some Aztec clay, Bentonite, okay. you know, like some other clay, or the differences, right? In the I, I just figured Second Nature oh, was the answer. Actually, I endorse the Second Nature only because what it does you know okay. because i i am into this not like a consumer but mm -hmm. more objective point of view like, yeah you know what do i sell it to my customers yeah. or what do i suggest to my customers so i have to really study the effects how how well does it really work right mm. okay and i like this one okay. <laughs> i don't know how should name second nature but uh, yeah okay. i like okay. this one better yeah you know. Well, guys, this, wow. this discussion can go <laughs> it <got laughs> really, really, right? really <laughs> deep, but we definitely have to move on to the next segment. Ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, if you have tried Bentonite Clay, definitely share with us your experience. And if you want him to take a picture of your skin <laughs> <laughs> and then test out the product afterwards, definitely let us know and maybe we'll have you in the office to do that. But stay tuned for our next segment and thank you so much for staying tuned to Hey Neighbor.